it's Heather and this is New Release Tuesday and we'll tell you guys about all the upcoming YA books that are being released and where you can spend your money at and empty your wallets and all that cool stuff. So yeah, let's talk about all the new books that are coming out. First book is The Walking Dark by Robin Weiserman. I probably said that wrong, but let's just let's just go with it, okay? Between you and me. This is a horror story compared to Stephen King and for fans of Rick Yancey, which I loved the fifth wave. Was it just me? I loved it. This sounds very, very haunting, so if you guys like scary reads, this will definitely be up your alley. The next book we're going to be talking about is Boston Jack by Ella Hay Meyer. The 11th book in the Bloody Jack Adventures, which is about a female pirate taking over the seas. The next book is Rogue by Gina D'Amico. This is the third book in the Croak series. It's about a teenage grim reaper on the run from the city. So if you want scary reads about a teenage grim reaper, definitely pick this one up. The next book is Rose Under Fire, which is by the critically acclaimed author Elizabeth Wine. And this one tells an unforgettable story about a, a World War II fighter pilot named Rose Justice. Next one is Monsters by Isla J. Brick. Hopefully I said that right. Probably not. <laughs> this is the thrilling conclusion to the Ashes trilogy. So this is the last and final book in the Ashes trilogy. I'm not too sure what the series is about because it's the final book and I have not read any of the books. The next book is Little Red Lies by Julie Johnston. The next book we have after that is Relativity by... Relativity. I've never been able to say this word, so forgive me for that. Relativity... Relative... Relativity... 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 Ugh, I'm awful pronouncing stuff. By Christian Beer, Beer. This book is giving me all sorts of problems. Christian Bishara, Bishara. Let's go with that one. This is an exciting story about alternate realities and what the world could have been. The next book is Anti Goddess, the first book in the Anti Goddess series by the acclaimed author. Kendar Blake. If you're looking for a new series to quench your lack of mythology, this one is definitely for you. Next book is Fangirl by Rainbow Girl, the author of such amazing books such as Eleanor and Park and Attachments. This book tells the story of Catherine and Ren, Simon Snow loving fan fiction writing twins as they go off to college and begin their separate lives. I am super excited for this one because I love Rainbow Girl. Next book is Not a Drop to Drink by Mindy McInnes, a futuristic world where water is worth more than gold and people will do anything to get it. Next book is Chaos of Stars, an enchanting story of Egyptian mythology told in modern day from New York's best time selling author Kirsten White. Next book is Thornhill by Kathleen Peacock, the second book in the Hemlock series. This series I've been told, which I have not read so I don't know too much about it, is perfect for fans of Rochelle Mead's Vampire Academy. And HBO's hit drama True Blood. So I'm taking away from that. If you're into vampires, you should definitely check out this book. So maybe I should check out this book. The next book is Living with Jackie Chan by Joe Knowles, a teenager that must move in with his karate loving uncle to come to terms with the guilt of fathering a baby. This sounds quite interesting to me. Jackie Chan. I mean, Jackie Chan's pretty cool, right? Next book is Homicidal Aliens and Other Disappointments by Brian Yansky, the sequel to Alien Invasion and Other Inconveniences. Too much about this one because it's part of a series, so I want to keep it as spoiler free as possible. It sounds very alien y, so I would say definitely check it out if you're a fan of the supernatural alien stuff. The next book is, which I love the name of it, Cherry Money Baby by John M. Cusack. Hollywood glitz com um, collides with working class aspirations in this satire tale of an impulsive starlet and a sharp witted small town teen. The next book is More Than This by two time Carmichi Medal winner Patrick Ness, which chronicles the life of a teen trapped in a crumbling, abandoned world. This book is Open Mic Riffs Between Cultures and Teen Voices, a humorous anthology edited by. Miletta Perkins, teaching on diversity and race. Kind of almost non-fiction-y maybe. The next book is Smoke by Ellen Hopkins. This is a sequel to Burn told in her poignetic verse, or poignant verse. If you don't know Ellen Hopkins, she has written um, Crank, Glass, Burned, a lot of books told in verse. Um, so this is the sequel to that. So definitely check this one out if you are a fan of verse books and of course Ellen Hopkins. The next book is Friday Never Leaving by Vicki Wakefield, and this is about a wrenching coming-of-age novel, discovering what makes a family and a home. The next book is, a, is The Final Descent, the highly anticipated and long-awaited fourth book in the Monster Monster series by the amazing Rick Yancey. I love Rick Yancey. I've only read The Fifth Wave, so I should definitely pick up the Monster Monster series. Yeah, if you're a fan of Monster Monster, the, the week has come for you to finally buy the last book in the series, so 
go buy it. The next book is Thin Space by debut author Jodi Casala. There is a fine line between living and the dead and Marshall is determined to cross it this gut-wrenching novel so I'm guessing it's about this guy who is playing with the idea of life and death and trying to cross that line. The next book is Until It Hurts to Stop by Jennifer Hubbard. And the next book is Unthinkable by Nancy Whirlin. This is the much anticipated sequel to her previous novel called Impossible that will appeal to fans of Beautiful Creatures by Kimi Garcia and Margaret Stoll, Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater, and Wicked Lovey. And the last book today I'm going to be talking about is Time After Time, not the song, Time After Time. Was that an 80s classic? I think it was an 80s classic. Anyway, Time After Time is by Tamara Island Stone. This is the heart-stopping sequel to Time Between Us, a time traveler who fell in love with a girl in the wrong decade. All the new release YA books that are coming out this week, it was a ton, a ton, so I didn't give too many descriptions because there was such a lengthy amount. Maybe next week less will come out and I will be able to provide you with more detail about them. And yeah, I apologize in advance for hurting all your guys' wallet for all these awesome books that are coming out. Which new release book are you looking forward to reading? Mine personally is going to be Fangirl by Ray Roll. Like I, that might already be in my Amazon cart. Let us know which new release books you'll be reading in the comments below. That is all for me. My name is Heather. This has been New Release Tuesday, and I will see you guys next Tuesday. Bye. Time after time.